So this right here is what I'm calling my floating bog ecoscape. And uh, it was a complete surprise. I wasn't intending to do this, but uh, I think it looks really cool. And it is an ecosystem, instant ecosystem, instant food web. Uh, what I had done is I just went to a local pond to collect some pond water and I was going to bring it home and put it in this, uh, into this tank and uh, see what happens. Uh, add some leaf litter and just, just wait and see what kind of life develops. And while I was there, I came across uh, some of this moss. I wasn't sure if it was actually floating or not because it was up against the shore and stuck to a dock. But I, I collected a piece and brought it home and what I did is I first put in the, uh, the pond water for several days and there were a couple little things swimming around and stuff and I had the leaf litter in there too, um, which the leaf litter did not come out of the pond. I, uh, I just have a big bag of that that I collected last fall. It's just oak leaves. Um, but anyway, I, I brought the pond water in, put it in, seen a few little things swimming around. Several days later, I put in the uh, the moss, and it does float. I'm really happy about that. And wow, the explosion of life that I see in here now is just amazing. Uh, the reason that I collected the pond water is because I'm trying to create ecosystems with food webs or a chain of life inside of my aquariums. This right here is what I call my beta ecosystem rack. And I did not just throw that word ecosystem in there as clickbait. I'm really trying to get ecosystems in my tanks. And this will eventually just be all tanks for my, uh, my betas, but they'll have other tank mates, but each tank will have a beta. The thing about the, uh, the food web, the chain of life, you know, the, the ecosystem, ecosystem that I want in these tanks is it's a long, slow process the way I had been doing it. Um, the only life that's going to get into these tanks is what gets introduced when I add new fish or, or new plants that are coming from other aquariums um, or what finds its way in here naturally all on its own. But that's a very long process. That's why I went and collected the pond water. A, uh, a food web consists of basically three layers or three levels. And the first level is the, um, the producers. That's stuff that uses nutrients in the soil or the water column and photosynthesis. And it's mainly plants and algae. And that's the first, uh, the first level or first layer in the food chain. And that's what gets the whole ecosystem started. After that, you got consumers like your herbivores, which are eating those plants and algaes. But it's also uh, carnivores and omnivores, which are eating other animals. That's the second layer or level. And then after that, you have your decomposers, which are like fungi and bacteria and stuff that's in the tank or in the environment. And they're breaking all the waste material from the animals, the dead animals, the decomposing plant material. It's breaking all of that down and uh, releasing nutrients, which starts the whole process over. That's feeding the producers. So the, the whole idea of the pond water was, you know, it would be full of all kinds of life and I wanted to jumpstart my tanks, but I was also kind of worried to just throw that pond water right into the tanks because I wasn't sure what was going to be in there. And boy, there is a lot of stuff. So some of the life that I have been able to identify in this tank so far is uh, Daphnia, seed shrimp, um, there's some Hydra, Planaria, um, there's some bug larva, you know, and some bladder snails, um, there's a couple of uh, tadpoles, um, there's even some, some uh, water spiders in there, real tiny water spiders. I'm not sure if they're actually water spiders. They might have just been living on the moss, but they can't seem to climb on the glass, so they're in there. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy. I bet you most of this life that I, uh, I got in here right now 
um, wouldn't be in here, or at least I wouldn't see it right now if it wasn't for that moss. I'm sure there was a lot of stuff in that moss. Now, some of the stuff that I mentioned, like the, uh, the hydra and the uh, planaria, a lot of people, you know, you're going to want to get rid of that as soon as you see it or whatever. You think it's dangerous. And yeah, they can feed off a of baby shrimp and uh, some of your baby fry and stuff. But once an ecosystem becomes balanced, um, you, you can have those things in your tank and still see your shrimp reproducing and the colony growing. Uh, if, you, if you're able to breed fish or you got breeders in there, um, they'll, still, they'll still reproduce. The tank will balance itself out. It's an ecosystem. If, if one species or another ends up uh, you know, pretty much overpowering the rest of the life in the tank, it's going to run out of food and those numbers are going to drop. And then the other stuff, the stuff that was feeding off, their numbers are going to come back up. And eventually there's going to be a nice, healthy, happy balance in the aquarium. And like I said, that's what I'm trying to do is try to create micro environments um, as self-sustaining as possible. They're not going to be 100%. It's an aquarium. You know, it's, it's just a box of water in it. Um, I will have fish in all my tanks. So, um, yeah, I'll have to supplement the food and stuff once in a while. So thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying the channel and these videos. Um, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think or if you have suggestions, you know, things you think maybe I could do or you might want to see or, or whatever, you know. I want the channel to be fun for everybody. I hope you guys are having as much fun and enjoying this stuff as I am.